Good morning. I think I'm officially back for like the millionth time. This week is very busy for me. Today, Eleanor is for the second time um, starting um, potty. She's potty training at school. She already knows, like, she'll tell me when she's going to the bathroom. She hasn't learned how to tell me before she needs to go to the bathroom. She's peed and pooped a couple times in the in the toilet. And she has no problem sitting in the toilet. No problem, you know, cleaning herself. Zero problem doing that. It's just telling me before she needs to go. <laughs> um, and even when I take her to the toilet and I'm like, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. She holds it. Um, so yeah, so now I need the school to help me because going to school in diapers and then at home, she's trying to potty train, it doesn't help. So I know she's ready because based on what I've read, she's ready for potty training. Plus the school, um, before that she goes into her next class, which is at three years old, um, she needs to be fully potty trained, including nap times. Um, Cause if not, unfortunately they will withdraw her from the school. So I would rather do it now that she just turned two on December 31st um, than wait until she's about to turn three. Plus, it saves me diapers, money, all of the above. Um, but now, today, Theodore is gonna go to an allergist, I guess that's what they're called. Um, I think, I'm pretty convinced he has an allergy to eggs, unfortunately. I've given him eggs twice. And the first time I noticed he got a rash on his body, but Matt said, no, no, he had the rash already, which I found weird because I was like, I would have noticed. <laughs> I would have noticed he had a rash. And then, so two weeks later, I gave him eggs again. And when I looked at him, like after a few minutes, he had this all red. And they were like, they weren't like little rashes. It was like big circles around his face. And then pretty much like within 30 minutes of me giving him eggs he broke out and then started throwing up and not like spit up like throwing up and then once he threw up he felt he was like so much better everything started to go away I didn't give him the eggs he was totally fine so immediately I made an appointment and today's that appointment We got his weight and his length. It was 19.14 and weight and the length. I actually didn't get that. Well, where's the waiting game? Hi, <sighs> little hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> what is it anaphylaxic whatever reaction whatever I don't even know how to say the word <laughs> um, just because he had two reactions in, in one sitting um, and they're like it doesn't necessarily have to mean that he's shortness of yes or of breath it's just like two reactions um, would mean he would uh, need the EpiPen <sighs> so they're like we're probably gonna send you home with EpiPen um, they gave me, they showed me how to use it, and they had like a second one that actually talks to you. Dang. Um, and they said that if I ever administer it, I think I need to call 911 or take, oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm a mess. Either call 911 or take him to the emergency room because he has to be checked out um, for a few hours after administering. Um, the EpiPen and then they said that if he ever has a reaction never give him um, any antihistamine at, for at least an hour or two after his first reaction because you kind of have to wait 
to see if he has a second reaction um, before administering or giving him anything. So that's kind of where we're at right now. So we're waiting to meet with a doctor. We met with a fellow um, doctor. And so it looks like we're gonna do a food allergy test, but first we're gonna meet with the doctor. So right now the next step is in two weeks, I'm gonna take him to do labs. Um, they're gonna, they didn't wanna do a skin test there. They didn't wanna put him through that just because it sounds like he does have an egg allergy. So like we wanna see his levels um, and then we'll know how bad it is. Um, but so pretty much they had asked me like if I had allergies or you know if anyone else in my family had allergies and I told them my sister had allergy to shrimp like she can't even touch it like she starts to react um so they asked me if I he had ever had any sh um tree nuts and I said no the only thing only nut he's had is um peanuts and he had he didn't have any reaction to it I've given him a couple times and he, he's totally fine um so like the the foods that they're testing through blood is almond brazel nut cashew nuts clam codfish crab egg yolk egg white hazelnut lobster uh pecan nut pecan nut whatever you guys want to call it pistachio salmon shrimp tuna and walnut um i guess there's also coconut egg component and scallop so they like hand wrote it in as well so they said they, they i can't do the test now i have to wait a month since his last reaction it's been uh, just over two weeks, so I'm waiting another two weeks to do the test, and then two weeks after that, um, then they're gonna do a skin test. So that's where we're at. They sent me a prescription for an EpiPen. They trained me how to do use the EpiPen. I was kind of playing with it a couple times. Um, the first time, I, if there was an actual needle, I would have completely forgotten to wait three seconds. Um, they actually had another one that speaks to you, and it kind of looks like a little card. But I chose not to get a prescription for that because if someone else has to administer it, I feel like they're not even going to know that's what they're looking for. I feel like the EpiPen is, everyone knows that one. They kind of have an idea what it looks like. Um, so even though it gives you, the other one gives you instructions, like it's, there's audio. Um, I don't, I don't feel like if someone else has to do it, they may not know what they're looking for like when they're looking for it in his book bag or wherever. So, um, yeah, and so they said that he had, once he starts to have two reactions, in his case, he had a rash and vomit, that would require uh, the EpiPen. And then if I administer the EpiPen, he needs to go to the emergency room. Um, to like call 911, I guess depending how bad it is, either call 911 or if you could take him to drive him to the emergency room take him but they're like you need to be observed for a few hours after the epipen i'm a hot mess express i'm trying to keep it together um it's something that you don't want your kids to go through so then i also asked them um is there anything that we can do to like help him get over this allergy and there's nothing and they said there's nothing nothing at all it will get over it. Um, it takes some kids a little bit longer. It takes a few years, which I, I read online. So I just wanted to hear from a doctor and not just my own little research. <laughs> um, yeah, and so depending how bad his allergy is, um, he may be able to have cake for like his birthday uh, or not. It just depends. Um, some kids um, just have a reaction to like the actual egg right but if it's baked like in a cake or a cookie or whatever the case is the protein changes and they have no issue with it so once we know the levels and we kind of figure out you know in the next month or so where he's at is i'm kind of gonna figure out what we're gonna do for his birthday because it kind of bums me out so who knows how bad his egg allergy is but we don't know 100 percent. it's just based on what i described to her um, she's like, yeah, no, he sounds like he definitely has an egg allergy, but we don't want to put him through the test yet. So that's where we're at. So I'll get, I'm sure I'll get a call soon for, to 
pick up his EpiPen, have it on hand, until the daycare. That's... You're such a good big sister. What a mess. What a mess. Baby. <laughs>